yeah so hi guys uh good morning good afternoon uh good whatever time you're watching this uh welcome to coach mwende if you're new here karibu sana if you are a returning subscriber we appreciate you i really really do love you thank you so much for always and uh, always coming back all right thank you so much for always uh coming back to my channel it's always a pleasure uh to be able to interact with you with you here okay guys um uh, hmm, wow i don't even know where to start and uh I, I just want us to talk about the things that have been happening recently in our country and um i want first to talk about this kadisa issue this faith issue um no judgments and uh, for sure i'm not even the kind of person that maybe you'd go to uh, to look for religious, um, what do I call it? Uh, religious advice or faith advice or Kadisa advice. I am the last person you might want to take advice from. But yo, <laughs> at least I'm logical. At least I can see and uh, think around some particular issues. And the one thing, I'm, especially after this current um in the this year uh, the kind of things we've been seeing happening in the uh, in the in the in the churches uh recently we've heard about this issue of um pastor mackenzie then 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 that name is many kidogo yes pastor mackenzie and this uh is it shakahola issue in um in the coastal region you think um if you if you think around these issues and um you'll realize that people are vulnerable and um one thing I th um that makes people vulnerable is uh, trouble currently we know that um our economy is in shambles our economy kochini sana life is really really tough and uh, people are stressed out especially when it comes to um dealing with our um, um bills maisha to kawaida the cost of living is really really high and i think this is uh, maybe a reason where people are trying to seek for solutions in different places and some fall in the religious space where by now it is very easy for someone to be fooled or lied to or uh, manipulated or uh, basically anachanganywa tu kidogo na hii maneno ya faith and they start feeling like yo i need to do these extreme things cuz that is the only way they see fate and um these guys that do maybe manipulate hata si lazima iko history ya makanisa even out here there are, there are so many issues in the society that people are using um to manipulate others or use their weaknesses or uh yeah i would say their vulnerability against them so i think even when it comes to religion they are good pastors they are good churches they are I do not dispute that. But I also know wanasema kila soko hakuna soko inakosa mwenda wazimu. So maybe in this faith issue in these makanisas there are also so many other people that are the madmen in that in that um um situation or in that area whereby someone now decides to monetize make this a business and I know most kanisas are just businesses and uh or their businesses for different people um today if i start a church of course if i'm not getting anything out of it i might not really be able to sustain it i might not be able to do it full time so sikatai you everyone feeds in their altar so <laughs> and i don't want to sound as if i'm for this or against the other but what i want to say is that um in this same same market kuna wenda wazimu and these wenda wazimu are the people that are trying now to use religion and faith um and uh, to manipulate and kupotosha watu i i wonder uh, if someone can fast to death so that they can see jesus 
Jesus mwenyewe ile time alikuwa hapa duniani si angetuambia tufanye hivyo angetuambia you guys you want to follow me just fast to death um for me i feel it's um, it's wrong especially this pastor mackenzie issue um i do not see how someone will fast to death yani unakujinyima chakula na maji to the point you even die i wonder ni nini mtu ameambiwa kwa ni nini umeambiwa what is this thing that you've been told to convince you that you need hii ni kama kuchagua njia ya sweet ni kama tu mtu ameamua kujimada and then i decide to take poison I decide this is my last day I take poison. It is the same thing with me deciding feeling like I don't know whether I could fix a wish or I really want to see Jesus and then I fast to death. I feel it's um me na feel it's it's me, it's a messed up thing. I feel like um in the like the other day I saw a video of a woman being interviewed from who had been rescued from all this situation and she wanted to really really go back. I do not want to judge but I do not know what is it what is this that someone has been told they so for them to make this decision that hey Now there is this other one this other pastor who are um, anaitwaje huyu Ezekiel huyu wa nyota <laughs> Where I I again I do not know whether this this is <laughs> but now when uh, this guy was arrested there's a, there are a lot of rumors that have been going on and on and on and then there's this um i don't know whether this this video that i saw sijui ukweli wake but uh, it is a video of this guy claiming that everyone that rises against him asijui uh, uh, i do i remember really that um atakuombea uende kwa nyumba na utakufa as everyone that rises against him will die sijui how I, i i don't even know whether how true this faith is but again um for me i feel like ai kenyan sijui ni nini tunaendeleza hata si kenya because i've also seen these things happen in west africa so i don't want to make it a kenyan issue but kwa jili mimi niko kenya na sasa hizi this is what is happening in kenya i want to say that hey lazima tuchangamke kenyans we have to be smart we will have to be able to make the right decisions for ourselves and the people that we care about we we want to use logic najua when it comes to faith labda mtu anaona hey hii bora ni si nikuaminia tu eh you are told that um jesus was born akaishi akasulubishwa akakufa akapaju binguni maybe you don't we don't question that you are told that um in the beginning uh that uh, god created adam and eve god created the earth god created darkness and light god i don't know how we can verify this but the fact that it exists i <laughs> let the let the teaching flow let yeah but there are things that especially when it comes to your own safety your own life you need to safeguard it you you need to be smart usije ukapotoshwa hapo uambiwe ufanye hivi uende binguni na hata hakuna binguni it is the same thing with this guy from uyu uyu yesu wa <laughs> kuna uyu yesu wetu hapa Kenya mlitaka kusulubisha over east akatetewa now seriously how who <laughs> eish yani the kind of comedy happen that happens in this country Yaani hata uwezi taka ku If you are somewhere else and these stories are coming to you una, unaonyesha ungedhani ni movie but now there are things someone is here in Kenya claiming that they are Jesus <laughs> Mwingine anaambia watu you fast Yeah you die so that you can see Jesus so you that you can go to heaven Mwingine anakuambia eh hey, tutaaminia nani basi which one are we and then the churches are way too many ukienda everywhere every corner yani there is a church a church zingine ni cause ko even in the same building there is the other, the other day was i don't know whether which radio station i was listening to and they was talking about a plot somewhere in um, kiambu sijui is it you can game your where those sides of oyaki way a plot tv kona 100 churches i don't know how true is this but if this I, i think it's possible in our country 
kairia kidogo hivi makanisa 100 and then you wonder hata kusikizana wanasikizana aje na kila mmoja iko na speaker loud everyone each, each and every one of them wants to have the loudest speakers yes we want to preach the gospel <laughs> lakini ingine inakuwa tena ni kama i don't know ni kama ni kelele and i remember some time back mama ida ma ida odinga um raised that issue of how these churches should be regulated and uh, so many people rose against that and uh, maybe this is why we are here today labda i think cuz imagine mimi sasa leo ni amke niseme eh nafika naona natafuta biashara ya kuanza let me start a church and then there is another person there to say who has sijui the calling eh? and they also want to start a church na sisi wote tunaingia pale if i have better business strategies my church will flood with people and i will preach whatever i want to preach whether ni the right things or i will be misleading people how do we regulate this how do we regulate this how do we regulate this I know for these pastors uh, wengine wamesomea they've gone they've wamefanya theology and uh, they know how to do this but could we be having so many others who cannot they are not even vetted hawana hata calling hawajui nini wanafanya they just want to lure people into funny funny things watu watu wa sadaka watu wa tithe oh now that i remember i saw another video of this pastor who bought is it a prado and then ako na prado akakuja kwa kanisa and he drives straight to the altar to the pool sio ita pool pita ma altar pale mbele and now he's asking people to give him money to kupanda mbegu hiyo kutoa pesa na kuguza you give touch the car to claim <laughs> to claim blessings ai hata kama ni upu ai no i don't know these are my genuine opinion say no you guys don't come at me lakini tu kusema ukweli ah how do you drive straight to the altar to the pulpit to the pulpit so now then now you want people to come and touch hmm? the same churches we are seeing videos of people being whipped pastor anakuja na nyahunyo sure sure <laughs> na piga kutoa mapepo or kutoa ujinga i don't know I, i do not understand why or where or what or how kabol is this and um, i also think that these funny funny things are the ones that are making people leave churches hmm? unachoka tu na historia makanisa kwa sababu sasa ai <laughs> Be very careful unachagua kanisa gani especially these up and coming ones a uh-uh. a think twice thrice five times before you can uh, get yourselves involved in them yes so um, hey thank you for watching to this particular point <laughs> this was just me making a point actually airing out my opinion or what i think about this but i totally feel like people need to be smart even when it comes to religion si kila mtu mwenye anahubiri Yesu anamwamini si kila mtu mwenye anahubiri Yesu ana wito they've been called by the same Jesus by the same God not everyone that preaches about heaven is going to heaven some are going straight to hell not every person that says Jesus mom god is good or god praise god or It really means the god that you feel they mean labda anasema praise god a different god that you do not know and um, yeah so let's be careful let's be really 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 careful because i know kenyans love jesus kenyans love church kenyans love prayer but that space has a lot of hypocrites as well that space has a lot of mad people who can easily mislead you and now when it comes to religion i feel like we are also very vulnerable kwa jili au take you question mambo ya mungu who wants to be cast by god he can stray he can send a lightning and you're struck <laughs> no one want to question this but i think it's about time we start questioning and we start asking questions si kuamini tu kila kitu fua Usifuate upepo kama bendera bendera you know a flag so just follow if anything stick to the church your mother introduced you to when you were a baby hizo za kitambo hizo boring ones those ones those that we do not want you tunataka hizi za class tunataka hizi zenye ziko na swag we want the ones with swag 
be very careful anyway yeah so thank you for watching up to this point in the meantime to end the lake for this <laughs> the next season of the next comedy here even hey but um if uh, you've had your loved one in that shakahola place you maybe you've lost them or they are there they've been rescued from there they are confused they are yeah please hey may god just give you strength aki hey na kuombea baraka na kuombea amani na kuombea nguvu cuz i know you need it if you've lost a loved one there, may they rest in peace, take heart, and uh, caution your people so that no one else gets in such traps. Yeah, so I'm Coach Mwende. Thank you so much for watching. Adios.